Welcome. All right. So what I'd like to do um, in this case is just kind of you know go through it. I picked this one because I like the parentheses, and I wanted to kind of remember remind you. You know, if I had a a fraction inside parentheses, we need to make sure that fraction distributes to every single term inside um, that parentheses that's not separated by addition or subtraction. So I can distribute this two here or this squared. So I have four cosine cubed of x divided by sine squared of x is now going to be multiplied by sine squared of x divided by 16 cosine squared of x. And it's really important for you guys to notice that that works when you're separated by multiplication. But if that was 4 plus cosine of x, that would not be the same thing. It only works for a multiplication um, and division. So now you can see that if I'm going to be multiplying these, I can see that these sine squareds you know, across here, those are going to divide into 1. This 4 divided by 16 is going to be left with 1 fourth. And then I'll have cosine cubed divided by cosine squared. Well, cosine cubed divided by cosine squared, we subtract our fractions just like if we were doing x to the m divided by x to the n. Remember our exponent, our power rules, that just tells us x to the m minus n. So if we have cosine cubed divided by cosine squared, that's just going to leave us with cosine. So that will be a cosine, though, on the top. So therefore, I finally have 1 fourth cosine of x. And that would be my final answer, as the cosine is still left up top, and my 1 fourth is in the denominator. But I can rewrite that just as a fraction. But it would be left as 1 fourth cosine of x. Thanks.